BBC News with Chris Barrow. The Republican Party has won the 218th seat needed to give them control of the US House of Representatives following last week's midterm elections. The Democrats have held the Senate. The Republican majority in the lower house, although slim, will limit President Biden's ability to enact his legislative agenda. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has said he's in no doubt that the missile strike that killed two people in Poland on Tuesday was not caused by Ukrainian air defence. NATO, Poland and the US have said they believe the incident was most likely caused by a Ukrainian air defence missile. The Brazilian president-elect Luis Inácio Lula da Silva has told the COP27 summit in Egypt fighting climate change would be his number one priority. He said there would be no climate security for the world without a protected Amazon. A new study has found that climate change severely worsened the heavy rains that caused large-scale flooding across swathes of Nigeria and Niger this year, killing hundreds of people. The floods were recorded as the worst in the country's history. The British government has ordered a Chinese-owned technology company to sell the majority of its stake in one of Britain's few remaining semiconductor manufacturing plants. Nexperia said it would challenge the decision. The US Justice Department says it has charged two Russians with copyright piracy, fraud and money laundering for running the globally popular Z Library website, which offered free downloads of millions of books. Anton Napolsky and Valeria Ermakova were arrested in Argentina. A meteorite that crashed in England last year suggests rocks from space played a key part in the formation of our oceans. Analysis revealed that 11% of the meteorite consisted of extraterrestrial water, which is very similar to water on Earth. BBC News.